everyone, welcome back to Software Incorporated, welcome back to... And... I forgot the name again. Mega Jewel Productions! <laughs> that was the name. Oh my god, I'm so good with names these days. Oh, perfectly. Oh, we are second. And we're coming up fast to the driver studio, but... Well, today we're going to do something else in our nice butterfly shaped building. I've got that comment from a subscriber which I completely forgot to check the name about. Why do I never check names? I have no clue. But yeah, it does kind of look like a butterfly. But we need to finish it. We need to finish the butterfly. Let's go to outside stuff. I'm a little bit down. And we need... There. And there. Now it's got these antennas he normally has kind of apparently actually i also completely missed one thing with the building stuff which actually we might want to do today apparently i really forgot about this you can change this floor you can seriously change the color of the floor to a very nice color green no floor green well, i guess it's now snowy so you can't see it but we can change it I never thought about changing the floor here because I actually didn't think about changing it because I didn't realize you could do that. So we are going to do some nice uh, groundy stuff, make some paths, make some other things. We're just going to make this area a little more beautiful today. So uh, first off, also I filled in these rooms here so we can get some stuff in. We're going to do some general maintenance of everybody and well, let's just get on it. So first off, we need a path from here to the parking lots here. So let's just go oh, into the building mode and go make a fence. And I think we're just gonna start right about here. Yeah, right up to the road. No, 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 no. Let's start by doing this. I think I want an area about this size and I want to come over here but for now I'm gonna leave that for now let's make the wall go all around it oh I missed one piece of all that was why it was begging out there for a second okay and let's come out till there for now and close this up oh one out more there we go outside area so to make some paths, I'm going to actually split this in half like here or actually make a little bit of an exit kind of around here. There we go. And I'm going to make another exit about here. Actually, I can just make a square and I also want a square over here. Oh, that's the wrong building. Okay, let's fill these all up. Oh, that's the wrong building as well. Okay, let's all make this into one big area. Merge rooms. And now we're gonna have a gate. An arched gate over here, a double one, over here a double one, and over here a double one. Okay, also we need an one over here. But for now I'm going to leave this because I'm going to expand it there. Now, if we want some nice green stuff on the sides, we're going actually to do something else which will... Oh, we can have open fence gates. I guess we'll add some open ones instead of... Well, let's have a normal gate on the sides. And we're going now to split this area up into something like this. Can't make it less than 25 degrees because of this corner here. Okay. Can we do that still? I hope we can. But for now, I guess we're gonna do it a little bit like so. There we go. And let's change this fence to reset style, no. Room colors, room construction material, fence, low fence. There we go. And this area will be nice in the color scheme, will be nice and green. Or the flooring will be nice and green. And the other side will be a little more white, a little bit asphalt, kind of. I'm really pressing all the wrong buttons here. We're going to make that 
a little bit grayish, like so. So that should look different. And now we can add a few benches outside. Just around this. And now to get there, there will be a fence gate right about here and over here. And apparently we changed the border to green. So we are going to change the colors again when it's getting uh, summer. Because then the snow will be gone. It's now December, so that's, I guess, the problem. And I think we're going to do this in a little more areas. So let's get the building in again. Now, I do wonder one thing. Hey, that was not supposed to happen. Why was no uh, nobody told me this, that I could do this? I guess I was just stupid, but I got so many good tips and tricks from you guys. And you didn't even tell me about this. <laughs> Maybe I'm uh, not so... Uh, ah, just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, so we're going to connect these two areas up as well. There's actually a door, of course, over there, which might want we want a path to. Okay, so let's do it like this. I think I'm going to just... Oh, hello, fence. Welcome. Uh, yeah, let's add it till there for now. Actually, let's just continue to the room because I will edit all the way around, I guess. There we go. That's another area done. And I do wonder, before I remove these trees by accident, will this one stay if we put this into a garden? Okay, what you hear falling was a pop filter, because I'm not just too bit. <sighs> Come on. Okay, let's try it again. Only this one with the small tree. Do we have a tree somewhere standing outside the line? Well, we have kind of over here. Let's do this. This one. Okay, they do remove the trees. Then we're going to move uh, or work around these trees because I do like to keep them if I can. And I think we can. So we're going to keep them. Okay. We're going to move this up to here and then continue it to there. And that shouldn't remove any trees. It did not, I think. And now we have a, a, a walking path over here which needs a little bit of an extension about here so you can move around this corner a little easier. So these are gonna be merged. There's gonna be a path over there. The path's gonna be too wide. So we're gonna just do this. It's a angle of shorter than, I guess. We're gonna extend this one more then. Are you serious? Normally this should work. No, it doesn't this time. There we go. Merge the rooms. There we go. Now we're going to split them up again. Like we did the other area. There we go. And I guess I do like to... Okay, let me save the game here. Because I am going to expand this area here by one. And I don't want to remove these trees. Well, luckily that didn't remove any trees. Because we just made the wrong area again. Okay, it did remove. Then let's load the other game. And let's just redo that, or actually not do that, and we'll just work around it. So we're going to keep this fence like this. Okay. Doesn't really matter, but we do want a walking space towards here. So I guess we're going to move to this door, because this door, well, we'll keep it, but it is uh, at the, where the trees are at, and I don't want to remove the trees still. So, well, I do wonder... So apparently the small trees we have over here, uh, these ones, have a surface area of 2 by 2. Now if you would look at these, these are about triple as big. 
Now I guess also the area they uh, spanned is maybe twice as big. So I guess it's a 4x4. And if you look at this tree, it could exactly be a 4x4 and hitting this wall. Now we did see if we would move the wall over here, we would get remove this tree and this tree. Now I guess this tree has a 2x2 two two starting from here or a 4x4 four four starting from here and going to there. Now this one is one over, so it should be from there to there. As the same as this one, which is, I guess, as the grid from here to here. Now if that is the way the trees work, I should be able to place the wall down this way. Which I'm gonna try. Well, maybe not because this one is here. Or maybe it is a 5x5 five five because it's in the block. Well, we can check that. Uh, let's save the game again. And first off, we're gonna try this because this should be able to do fine without any problems. Yeah. And now let's check it for one more. So is the 4x4 four four or 5x5? Five five? It is a 4x4. Four four. Okay. That's good to know. So now we have a perfect area there. We have a walking space of 2x2 two two towards this door. Oh. Hello. Well, if we do that, we might as well do it a little bit better. If we do it like that, we might as well... Oh, it automatically snaps to there. I guess we can do it like this. There we go. Now, okay, the outside is now almost built. Now we need... There we go. Can we... Oh, hello. Those are some big areas. Mushrooms. Oh, we can't because otherwise this area here would be a problem. Because it would be enclosed by one single area. That doesn't really matter. We can deal with it. We're just making some open fence gates over here. So it doesn't look like there is something there. But there is. But they don't have to know. I guess we can do kind of the same over here. But we need a few extra areas over here. So let's just add... Oh! Let's load the game again. That destroyed some trees, interesting. So let's do that again, I guess. <laughs> that, I wasn't expecting that. And now we did remove the tree. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Huh. Okay, I guess the trees work a little different than I thought. So I guess the grid is a 5x5 five five for the trees, so you need to just stay clear of them no matter what happens. I guess we can do that. I guess we will do it from here. And I guess we'll just do it like this. And now it removed it. Oh, maybe. Because this is considered a square. Oh, that could be it. Maybe because they pull this line through, they do that. Because it does consider to be in that square. Oh, that could be. Okay, okay. So let's try that again. So I think now I know what is going wrong here. So we're gonna make a few more segments just to save the trees. So this is, should be fine. Okay. And now I should be able to do this. Yes. But if I do this and now merge these buildings, the building stays, okay. But if I now close these together, that's good, okay. Let's merge these again. But if I merge these together, we get a square which should be this big, so these trees should disappear. It didn't. Okay, that is interesting. Now what if I do this? Now it reinserted this area, so it pulled the line through here, and now it removed these trees. So it has something to do with the with just the size or the rendering uh, area of the building. Actually, the line is here, so it's even one further. So it considers the building to be here, then there can't be trees in that area, so the trees will be removed. 
Aha. Okay. Now I can work with that. It's a little bit interesting. I didn't really expect that to happen. But I don't mind. We can deal with it. So I think I'm going to do to just save, this, save the trees, literally, it's going to do this. That removed a thing over there. Okay, let's reload the game. I don't want the trees to be removed. Might be a little finicky, might be a little annoying to look at, but I just want to have this be good. So I guess we're going to do this and that restored this area, dang it. Okay. Load the area again. I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get rid of this area first. And then we're going to rework it. Okay, so we can do that without a problem. Oh, that got rid of a lot of the building area. No matter, no matter. We can easily do that. Well, it's not that easy, but we can still do that. Okay. Now up to here and down here. Down here and close it. Okay, now we're going to start a new area here, which is going to be a little bit like so, till there, and back. And now we're gonna continue this on to there. And now we should be able to not remove any trees. Trees are still there. Now we know we can make an area over here. And from here, we need a custom area that is going here. Like so. So I've got a little a few more segments, but now we can at least save the trees. Okay, well that works. So I guess the rest of the area we will make a little bit uh, off camera or no, not off camera, on another time because it's now winter time and this kinds of things doesn't work. Well, I didn't want that there. Uh, because we can't see the ground. So we need to do this when spring happens. So I guess we're gonna wait for that a little while. Gonna have a few doors in here already. So at least the people are able to get there. If they need to, if they need to walk around, which I guess they need to. Guess we're gonna open that. Well, actually we're gonna add some fence gates there. And this is all connected. Then here needs to be a connection. I guess we're gonna just do it like that. And those are gonna be fence gates. Well, actually those can go, can be open because this is the area for the reception. So everybody can come in, in theory. And we're going to make some nice bathing, etc. later. We can, for example, do something uh, like this to make just a nice big entrance or something like that. Actually, I think this would be better, but then this tree is in the way where we need to move it. But that is something for later. Okay, I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to do anything here. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is uh, we are still going to do some building, but we're going to move some teams around. So this area, I said I wanted this one for, for marketing and for support and nothing else. So first off, we're going to make another marketing team, a second marketing team, which is going to be the marketing pre-releases. So the pre, all the pre-stuff is going to be done by the marketing pre-team and all the post-marketing stuff is going to be done by the normal marketing team. So we're going to add that team and we're going to not uh, hire any people because I will do that off camera. But let's first uh, switch some people around. So this area is done. This one is for the big software team. Second, well, I think the last floor, the top floor is gonna be for the core team. So, but the core team actually, no, 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 no. The core team is gonna stay here because this whole area here is gonna be for the core team. The marketing is gonna have this side of the wing 
and I guess support is gonna have this side. Well, actually, if I look at this, you're gonna have marketing here and support here because of this maintenance room, which never nothing can get in. Or do I? Do I want to make this on the roof? Because I also discovered something. These outside door areas, you can also make them on the roof. So you can make uh, roof gardens, kind of. So I'd like to do something with that as well. So I think we're going to move these up top. So I guess this wing is going to be for... <laughs> literary butterfly wing is going to be for the marketing and this one for support. And I guess this room is going to be expanded to here. So this is going to be the whole new core team room, which is big. I think I'm also going to change some stuff up. I'd like the table to be in the middle. And, but the other teams need to go out. So the other teams, which are game team one and the network team, I guess we can put them together and make a new network team because we need games, because we will have a game engine pretty soon. But the other teams, are they actually making software at the moment? Network team is making software. The support is running. Core team is doing stuff. Network team, the game team isn't doing anything. So I guess we are going to switch this one up to the game team. And everybody from the network team is going to go to the game team. Now we are going to switch people out to be programmers, etc., etc. But for now, we're going to add this whole floor here for the game team. So let's just select everything here, which needs to be selected. Okay. Uh, assign to... What was the assign room again? Switch team. Game team. There we go. Third floor is going to be marketing. Or no, no, no. It's going to be the network team. Is also going to be 20 people, which is uh, a, which are big teams, but uh, well, we have the space. Switch team to the network team. So now we have a few empty rooms over here. When so, I guess with this whole section being for the core team, this will be support. I guess we're gonna have well, actually, maybe I want to move the support as well. Hmm, but if you want to move the support, where to? Hmm, the support doesn't really need a, a larger room than this. They just need six people. That is normally enough for everything to be supported. Well, they are lagging behind a little, but I think they also just went on vacation. No, they didn't just went on vacation. I guess there's just a lot to do at the moment. Uh, if we have the core team over here, so with 20 people being in these three rooms and the table for the meetings in the middle, then this will be the marketing one and this will be the marketing two. Then we do have a little bit of a space shortage. We can make it on the top floor, I guess. But where do I place the stair slash elevator? Hmm. Now if I look up and like to construct a wall somewhere. We have a middle line over here. Do like to have something kind of in the center. Now, how many blocks is this? This is 14 by 14. So seven is the middle. So I guess this is the middle. Now, if I look at the butterfly, the which this area kind of uh, feels like the middle area is thicker of course <gasps> oh now I suddenly have an idea what if we remove this one and the body would be kind of like here and it would make something like this how much is that three that is not completely straight I do like it straight Now it is four, going up, going back. Now this is a little weird size. We can have the elevator over here. Plant will be removed. There we go. And then the team can be here. And I guess at the middle of the wings, kind of in this line can be 
a few extra stuff which we might need. But this might be a nice area for the support team to be with maybe something like this to round off the top a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be the support room and then marketing pre-team is going to be here and the normal marketing is going to be here and we have these equipment here which we will move to the top here and I guess these cooling things are going to be kind of here at the beginning. So yeah, okay, I'm going to build that off camera because we are out of time for this episode actually. So we did a lot of building. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to figure out this room and I'm going to rebuild a little bit of this or it might turn it into a time-lapse, but I will consider that after, well, after making this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one, a little bit different, but well, sometimes you just need to change some stuff up. And next episode, we're going to do some more building, maybe a time-lapse, maybe a nice song. If you have any suggestions for any songs, please put them into the comments and I will check if they are, if I am able to play them and of course, if I can play them. But that has some licensing issues, which well, I will check out. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like on it if you did and I hope to see you on another one. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.